Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest Simplicity pattern release with you. So everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. So I've picked out my favourites, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them and I've picked out fabrics that you could use to sew them up in as well. So there's some really nice designs in this release from Simplicity, I'm quite excited to talk to you about them. The first one is 9642, it's a dress and this dress comes with cup sizes so that is great for anybody who has any issues with the fit in the bust area. It comes with cups A, B, C and D so what usually happens with these patterns is you get you cut out a different piece depending on your cup size and then you know if you're somebody who normally patterns are always drafted for a B cup so you might have to make a full bust adjustment or a small bust adjustment um, but because you've got those four different sizes in there you're much more likely to get much much closer to your size and get a good fit so that's a real big positive. This pattern runs in sizes 4 to 20 and the 20 is a 34 bust, sorry no 42 bust, I was thinking that's that's not, um, not very uh, generous, a 42 bust, a 34 waist and a 44 hip, um, that's the largest size that it goes up to. And it's a really pretty dress. This is right at my street. Reminds me a little bit of another simplicity dress I made a few years ago, but it's it's kind of just got some similar features. So it's got a V-neck at the front with a centre front seam, and then the seam under the bust comes up into a V, and then the bust has got little gathers um, on the bodice pieces that come up from that waist seam, that sort of high waist seam that goes into a V. It's got princess seams down the skirt and a ruffle hem and it's got different length options, different depths of ruffles as well. There's a really deep one, a narrow one and then a sort of middle of the road one and then you've also got two sleeve options as well so you've got cute short puff sleeves or you can go for a full length puff sleeve with gathering at the uh, shoulder and uh, gathered into elasticated, um, an elasticated hem at the bottom um, and then the princess, oh it's got fish darts on the back so I think ultimately you're going to get a really nice shape out of this dress but I like the fact that that sort of frilly um, ruffle hem is still there, you've still got the puff sleeves so there's still a little bit of volume in there but just a more fitted silhouette around the body, really like this pattern right up my street. Uh, the suggested fabrics are things like velvet, rayon, silky type, so soft cottons. I think you're obviously going to want something with a little bit of drape and movement for this pattern. And therefore I chose this lovely viscose fabric which is a Lady McElroy. It's a Moroccan crepe viscose and it's just got this cute ditzy print on it. I wanted to make something in this for absolutely ages and I just haven't got around to it, but I think it would make up into a really nice version of that dress. It's just a classic sort of dark floral print, black background with these pink and white little ditzy print on it. So that's lovely and would make a very nice version of that dress. I'd be tempted to make the um, long sleeved version for this time of year and then wear it with a cardigan for extra warmth. The next pattern I wanted to share is Simplicity 9646. So this pattern runs in sizes from an 8 to a 26. So the 26 is a 48 bust, 41 and a half waist and a 50 hip. And it's just a really nice um, casual shirt pattern that I think I would get a lot of wear out of especially at this time of year. The styling on the packet's gorgeous paired with a pair of high-waisted jeans it's just an easy to throw on um, shirt that I think you know is just really nice for every day. Um, it's got some really interesting quite interesting features as well so there is an option for uh, fish darts on one of the views and then the other views look like they're just more of a loose fit there's no bust darts so it's sort of quite a sort of forgiving sort of oversized bodice by the looks of it which is very in keeping with what's in trend on trend at the moment it's got a drop shoulder and then the sleeve is a sort of 
a full voluminous sleeve that looks like it's gathered um, where it joins the bodice and then gathered into an elasticated um, hem at the bottom. So really you've just got a sort of fairly, you know, loose casual fit. It's not like an oversized fit. I probably shouldn't have said that. It looks like a fairly loose fit on the body. It's nice and easy to fit and to sew, but then you've just got this nice volume in the sleeves as well. Just, I think it's just the right balance really of understated and a bit of drama. And then the collars, just a cute little simple, um, there's either a collar with a sharp corner or a curved edge and then a button down front. I think I would really enjoy sewing this and wearing it. And the fabrics it recommends are things like chambrays, cotton lawns, cotton blends, gingham, linen blends, shirtings, poplings, that sort of thing. The fabric I chose is this lovely red paisley cotton lawn fabric that we've got, which I actually made a dress. If you watched my video last week, you would have seen this dress featured in it. Um, you can have a look at that if you want to see what it looks like on. But I made this sundress last year in it, or this year rather. Um, but I always said I think it would make a really nice shirt or blouse as well at this time of year paired with indigo jeans. I think the colours would look really nice. Um, just add a little vibrant pop of colour to your winter wardrobe. So that's my choice for that one. The next pattern I want to share is Simplicity 9648 and this one runs in sizes 8 to a 24. So the 24 is a 39 waist and a 48 hip and I really like this pattern. It's um, a midi length skirt although there is an option for what looks like a shorter skirt as well probably sort of just below the knee I would imagine but it's got a really cool option for an asymmetric design as well um, which is what the model's wearing on the pattern packet again I think the styling is fantastic on this one she's got this Prince of Wales check asymmetric version on with some black knee-high boots and a black turtleneck and I just think you know really lovely chic look but not too overdressed very very easy to wear every day um, or even to wear on an evening out and I really like the way they've done the Prince of Wales check um, cut on the bias on one side of the asymmetric um, skirt so that you've got the crosses going horizontally and vertically on one side and then you've got them going diagonally on the other side just a nice interesting little feature um, there's an option for a patch pocket there's an option for a non-asymmetric finish there's an option for a, a center front seam or not a center front seam so lots of different options with this one but I just always think that that midi length skirt with the knee high boot underneath and the turtleneck such a classic look for winter i really love it and just think it's really sophisticated um and we've got this prince of wales check it's just a classic prince of wales check suiting fabric that i think would work really well and i would be tempted to do just what they've done on the packet and have it going asymmetrically sorry diagonally cut on the bias on one side just to add that little bit of interesting detail but the other thing you could use as well for that skirt is we've got lots of tartans which have been really popular in recent years this is one that we've just had restocked in um, this lovely sort of purpley and bottle green colorway and I thought oh that would work really nicely with a black polo neck and black boots as well um, but we've got some other really nice colorways as well of the tartan um, so do check those out as I said I will pop links to everything I mentioned today so do check out the links and do check out our website as well the next pattern I want to share is Simplicity 9639. So this one runs from a 6 to a 24. The 24 is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. And it is um, a really lovely wrap dress with a lot of different options for design details. So um, first of all, you've got obviously the crossover bodice. You've got little gathers at the shoulders there. You've also got some gathering, it looks like, at the waist. There's an option for a flutter sleeve or a long sleeve finished with a cuff. Um, and that's got sort of shoulder gathers and is gathered into the cuff. So again, a little bit of poof and a little bit of puff and um, just feeding into those cuffs at the bottom. 
and you've got a version that is a short version with a little frill on the hem which is absolutely gorgeous it's got the long sleeves that would be the one that I would want to make I really love that version I think it's just lovely um, there's also a version where you've got an extra tier on the bottom and then it's got some asymmetric sort of like almost like handkerchief hem effect on the bottom um, and that's then finished with a frill or you've got this handkerchief sort of asymmetric hem finish without the frill as well so lots and lots of different options there to really give it your own sort of um, finish and make it the way you want to make it um, and the fabrics it suggests for this one are things like batiks, uh, look, cotton lawn, cotton blends, crepe de chine, silky types, even jersey knits it says you could make it in um, and I would be tempted to go for something with a nice bit of drape and I would want to make that short version I just think it's so cute that would be lovely paired with tights and boots and the fabric I chose for that one is this gorgeous dashwood fabric so this is a dashwood viscose fabric love the vibrant colors on this love the dramatic dark background think it would work really well and sew it beautifully into all those little ruffles and puff sleeves and all those different features the next pattern I wanted to share with you is Simplicity 9644. So this one runs up to from a 10 to a 28. The 28 is a 50 bust, 44 waist and 52 hip. And they are introducing um, more uh, wide ranging size ranges to a lot of the patterns now from the big four. So you'll see more and more of this coming through, which is great. Um, so this dress can be made is to be made up in knit fabrics stretch knits only such as jersey lightweight ponte uh, stretch velvet that sort of thing but it's got um it's a sort of low sort of turtleneck with a cutout across here which has been super super on trend and popular recently a feature i really like think it would be fun to sew as well and then there's options for um, a knee length skirt a midi length skirt there's also an option without the cutout um, there's options for a wider cutout versus like a smaller slit um, there's options for um, sleeves that are straight uh, or sleeves that flare out at the hem um, so lots and lots of different options to play around with here and again I really like the knee length version of this it's just a simple turtleneck knee length um, knit dress and this is something I actually made last year I sort of cobbled hacked a couple of patterns and cobbled it together myself I used a turtleneck top and then I added a circle skirt to it but if this pattern had been around oh and that's our stretch velvet by the way as well that's our lovely uh, navy John Caldor Carlotta stretch velvet um, that if that this pattern had have been around I would have just made view C of this pattern and I'm quite tempted to make it in a different colour of the velvet um, I wasn't a hundred percent happy with the fit round the waist on that one um, because I sort of hacked it myself I don't think I got it quite right I think it could be tighter um, this hasn't got a waist seam so it kind of does hang a bit more but I've got a feeling because it's designed for knit fabrics it probably would be um, a bit more fitted or I could make it more fitted and the fabric I chose for that one was our stretch velvet so you've just seen the navy blue colorway but I thought I'd just show you the teal as well because this is one of my all-time favorites look at that how gorgeous is that oh so perfect for party season um, and Christmas and all those things it's just lovely really lovely color um, but we also do it in a wine and a purple a black um, I think there might be another color I can't remember but they're all on the website so do jump on and check them out but I think that would look gorgeous made up in any of those colors to be perfectly honest so I hope you've enjoyed my little roundup today as I said at the start of the video everything I mentioned is available on our website please do jump on and check out our lovely website and the products and the links I've left below and if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.